To test LFC, low frame rate compensation, we need to have three conditions fulfilled. First of all, we need to have a 120 Hz refresh rate. Second of all, we need to have an unlocked frame rate. And third of all, at some stage, the frame rate must go below the VRR range. And in the case of the PlayStation 5, the VRR range is 48 Hz to 120 Hz. But question is now, of course, what is LFC actually? low frame rate compensation. So that means below 48 Hertz or 48 frames per second, LFC will take over and prevent yeah, any stuttering or screen tearing on your display. And I think the easiest way to explain it is actually to show you. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm using my PC because it's so much easier to show you VRR in combination with LFC, low frame rate compensation. And my LG CX, the VRR information on my LG CX is just working perfectly in combination with my PC. I'm not quite sure why this is not the case with the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox series, but on the PC I have exactly the right information because you can see now 71, 72 Hertz, 72 frames. And this is all what VRR is doing, matching the refresh rate to the frames per second. And yeah, you can see this actually, when, we, when we're looking here, we have now 90 frames per second, 90 Hertz. This is how VRR works. And this is now preventing any stuttering or screen tearing. It is just a great experience. But now let's talk about what is, if the frame rate falls below the VRR range from my TV or let's say from the, from the GPU. Okay, so I changed my graphic settings a little bit in the game to have a lower frame rate. And as you can see right now, 48 frames per second. And yeah, we have here actually 47 frames per second as well, 45, 46 now. Keep in mind that the VRR range between my PC and the LG ZX is different compared to the PlayStation 5 and my LG ZX. PlayStation 5, 48 Hertz to 120 Hertz. My PC actually 44 Hertz to 120 Hertz. And of course I can show you this. And now we're talking about LFC. So right now what you can see 46 or 45 frames per second and here exactly the same number. That means VRR is enabled and you don't have any screen tearing, no stuttering at all. So what is now, and again, I told you it is actually 44. What is if the frames are falling below the VRR range? And in this case, it's 44. You can see right now, 39. Let me try to get actually 40 because I like to show you what we're talking about because we're talking about frame doubling, okay? Uh, 40 frames per second and we have now 80 Hertz, okay? This is how LFC is working, frame doubling. So the display right now, gets absolutely fooled because the display thinks we're actually having 80 frames per second, but it's not the case. We still have just 40 FPS, but because of frame doubling, the display is fooled and can keep the VRR or can be still in the VRR range. There is no stuttering. There is no screen tearing. The whole gameplay, on the other hand, gets very choppy, actually. Very, um, yeah, you can clearly see something is wrong and this is not even, 40 FPS gameplay and I will explain to you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what is this frame doubling what I'm talking about? LFC frame doubling and um, how can I explain this to you? Okay, so let's say or let's take the PlayStation 5 VRR range as an example. Okay, so we know um, the lowest range is 48 Hertz. So when we now taking 1000 milliseconds, which is one second, and we dividing this by 48, we having now 20.8. 20 point, let's say 21. Every 21 milliseconds, the display awaits or expects a new information. If this number is now going higher, then we're falling out of the VRR range. So let's say we have now just um, 40 frames per second, which is 25. Uh, shouldn't need a calculator for this, but anyway. Now we have 25 milliseconds and this is way higher than the VRR range. So that's why VRR will turn off. But this is when LFC kicks in because now we're talking about frame doubling. And how does this work? So instead of sending our information every 25 milliseconds and the PlayStation 5 or the PC 
Xbox knows now, hey, I'm out of range, I need to do something because the display tells me the range is actually this and this and this. Okay, so it's not sending every 25 milliseconds anymore, it's sending every 12.5 milliseconds, but the same information twice. Okay, so that's why we have now here 80 hertz and here 40 fps because every 12.5 milliseconds we're getting now information but the same information twice so that's why the display is now fooled and thinks hey i have actually 80 fps i can be in the vrr range and this is the reason why the, the, the gameplay at the moment doesn't feel quite right so we have a, a yeah, actually more input lag we have uh, more response time or higher response time from the display and stuff like that so this is not comparable with the 40 fps mode on spider-man let's say like this the fixed 120 uh, hertz 40 fps mode on spider-man is much better than this at the moment because this is now um yeah the information the frames on the screen are actually displayed twice of course very very fast you can't see it but you can actually feel that there's something wrong because as soon you're into into the normal range in vrr the display first of all it's not as blurry anymore of course we have a higher frame rate but also the input is much quicker compared to this this is really a difference and this is how lfc is working double the frames but sending the information twice Okay, and now we're back with Ghostwire Tokyo on the PlayStation 5. And this game runs by default in 120 hertz right now in the fixed mode, as you can see. And I was surprised about this because there is actually no yeah, option in the game that you can change 60 or 120 hertz or stuff like that. But anyway, this is what we need because with 60 hertz, LFC will not work because of the frame doubling because we need to have a uh, yeah, higher refresh rate than 60 hertz to have actually double the frames you know 40 fps will be fake 80 frames per second but if we are limited to 60 hertz this will not work that's why we need to have it is a mandatory thing actually to have 120 hertz so that's why this game is actually a very good example so there are a couple of things what we need to consider first. Okay, so first of all, this game is not officially supported by Sony right now for VRR, but I don't understand why it has to, because the only thing what I can think about it is 120 Hertz refresh rate and of course an unlocked frame rate. This is literally all what you need to get VRR running. There is, there is no, there's nothing else what keeps us from using VRR when we have those conditions actually. 120 hertz refresh rate and of course an unlocked frame rate. And even we don't have a 120 hertz refresh rate, we can use VRR, but again, then without LFC. So I can't understand at this very moment why we need to have updates. I mean, this was wrong because I can understand we need to have an update for games to actually enable 120 hertz that's all what we need and that's what the updates are about in my opinion because all the games what we tested or what i tested so far having a 120 hertz your gameplay mode spider-man ratchet and clank but godfall doesn't and that's why um, vrr is working but as soon as falling below the 48 hertz it is yeah it starts stuttering anyway let's focus on this we have right now 120 hertz fixed rate and let me just show you in what um, graphic mode i'm in hfr quality mode we think okay so we have i think 1.8 million different graphic modes in tokyo ghostwire but again this is cool so because now we think is actually enabled which means we have a lot of stuttering hopefully you can see this because the frame rate is not even close to 60 fps at the moment so and there's just i think one spot like here where we have i think 60 fps because it's not stuttering here but the whole picture or when i'm moving around or strafing or whatever you know turning it is just stuttering and this is with the fixed 120 hertz mod let me bring this up over there because then we can see what's happening when I'm going to actually enable VRR or let's say like this, 
VRR is enabled, what I'm doing is I'm enabling apply to unsupported games. So let's have a look here, 120 hertz fixed, I'm enabling this and we're changing into VRR. Okay, so that means it is detecting a, yeah, a game with um, not fixed frame rate and a change in VRR, which is absolutely fine. So we're still in the same um, picture mode or graphic mode actually. And you can see here now why I, why I said actually we have here, I think a location or a part where it's not stuttering because it is very close to 60, okay? But the other way, you can actually see it's just 50 and here now it's very bad, it's stuttering again because it's below 48. And this is now a problem because at this very moment, LFC actually should kick in, okay? So let me, let me show you this. Let's focus on the frames per seconds or Hertz at the moment, but we know that this value right now is equal to frames per seconds, okay? Right now. So the thing is, you can see here actually 48. I'm moving a little bit further and at some point we're falling back into 118. That doesn't mean that we have now 118 frames per seconds. That means VRR is not enabled anymore and this proves right now that LFC at this very moment in this game is not working. Because if LFC, low frame rate compensation would work at this very moment, we wouldn't see any stuttering when we're looking at this yeah, street here, like here now. There's a lot of stuttering and this is because we're below 48 hertz, 48 frames per second and VRR is not enabled anymore. But that's fine because now we would need LFC. But as you can see, hopefully it is not working. Where's my freezing information? Of course you can't see it. Let's bring it up again. 50, 52 frames per second. I'm moving here. We're going closer to 49, 48, and now we're out. Here's 48, 48, and at some point it's 118 again. Here, 118. So now VSync is not working anymore. And you can clearly see it is stuttering. So this is, this is a problem. Because um, 48 hertz or 48 frames is actually not very, it's not a very good range in my opinion. Because first of all, my PC has a range down to 44 before LFC kicks in. And the Xbox, and I will make a video about this, I will compare VR on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox. The Xbox kicks in with LFC below 40. That's a big, big difference. So it's not because of my display, okay? This is from the source, from the PlayStation 5, Xbox or PC. All the three uh, sources have a different VRR range and so far the PlayStation 5 is, yeah, has the worst range. Let's say like this. I'm not quite sure if we can fix this in the future because 48 is a little bit too, too much in my opinion. So here it's working fine because we are, you know, above 48 all the time. It's actually not stuttering a little bit. So. VRR is working. VRR is working on the PlayStation 5 even with unsupported games. But again, I think the only support what we need is 120 hertz. That's all what we need. Nothing else. And of course, un we are, uh, uncapped frame rate. But LFC is right now not working. And again, this is the only game what I can test right now. Okay, so what is going on here? And I'm not an expert in terms of HDMI VRR, but so what I know is that VRR and LFC is yeah, integrated in HDMI 2.1. But I don't know if it needs to be activated by software from the source, you know. Maybe the PlayStation 5 needs to tell HDMI or VRR actually, hey, you can use LFC as well, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know about this. I hope this is the case because again, LFC is in my opinion a must have in combination with, v with VRR because the, the range on the PlayStation 5 is already not very great, to be honest, not very great. So we should have LFC because I'm very sure that, and I don't have this game, Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. I'm on the Xbox Series X, the frame rate is terrible, but thanks to yeah, VRR and LFC, you can play the game in the graphic mode with around 40 to yeah, 50 frames per second. It is no problem at all. 
And there is no issue with, with stuttering whatsoever. I don't know about the frame rate, of course, in Elden Ring on the PlayStation 5. But if this is the case that Elden Ring falls below 48 frames per second, then you have stuttering again. And this is the reason why you need, of course, 120 hertz refresh rate plus LFC. So not quite sure about this, but put in the comment section um, how Elden Ring is behaving. I mean, I read, of course, a couple of things already that um, as soon it is below 48 hertz frames per second, it starts stuttering again, which is yeah a bad thing. Okay, anyway, I think the video is long enough. I proved the point that at this very moment, LFC is not working in this game, okay? In this game. Let's say it, it's the game's fault and maybe we need to have a update or whatsoever that actually LFC gets activated. I just hope that's the reason. I, 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 let's just, oh my God. Hopefully it is easily fixable because if we wouldn't have LFC on the PlayStation 5 in combination, combination with VRR, this would be a big fail, to be very honest, a very big fail. But let's hope the best. Thank you very much for watching me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.